So this is a pediatric respiratory distress um, school. And we'll start off by looking at your patient from a distance and identifying your general question of the patient. I see that he's sitting up. Looks like he's in some respiratory distress, but his level of consciousness is good. Um, so just like you would any other patient, you'll come in initially and, and hey, hey, are you okay? And check responsiveness. And I'm looking at the airway and looking for secretions and, and anything with that. Um, <clears throat> I see that the airway is open. Seems to be having a hard time breathing. So put him on my pulse ox, um, count his respiratory rate, and I see his pulse ox is 82%. So at this point, I'm gonna put him on some oxygen, get a little non-rebreather mask. Hook that up to 10 to 15 liters. Make sure it's inflated and give him the the mask and the oxygen. I'll then check a pulse and depending on the size of the kid, it could either be um, radial or carotid. Uh, remember for infants, we uh, typically would check brachial, uh, but for someone this size, I might be able to get away with the radial pulse. And then uh, from here, I'll uh, get another set of vital signs, try and get sample history and all that from, from parents. And I noticed that he's become um, less responsive, not breathing as well. Um, seems to be desatting a little bit. So I'm going to have to change my non-rebreather to bag bag mask. So I'm going to move him to the floor. And to help maintain the airway, we need to pad underneath the shoulders. And we're trying to get the top of the shoulders to line up with the opening of the ear. So we'll pad underneath the shoulders a little bit, and that'll help open that up. <clears throat> Check his airway again, making sure it's open. I think he'll tolerate an OPA, so I'll measure it, size it, and insert it. At this point in time, we'll begin ventilating the patient. Now remember, with children with a pulse, we give one breath every three to five seconds. I'll let my partner do that for just a moment as I connect this to oxygen. at 15 liters per minute. Come back, continue to ventilate my patient. One breath every three to five seconds. Hopefully my pulse ox is improving. Make sure that we have a pulse and reassess your patient as needed.